everyone, my name is Alberto, welcome back to my channel. In this video I wanted to show you how a, a, an easy way to trace a pattern from a pair of, in this case, pens that you have, in case you want to reproduce them, because I have been uh, DM'd about it, so I thought maybe it could be useful for someone. I'm gonna try to make it as easy as possible. So. Uh, I have been asked to remake these uh, sort of stretchy uh, capris uh, for my sister's mother-in-law. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. First of all, you want to take whatever you're using and turn it inside out, uh, where you actually get to see the seams of the garment. And then you take uh, tracing paper, pattern paper, whatever you prefer, and place it, the item on it and try to flatten it as much as possible. You might notice in this case, the back of the pens is wider than the front. So I'm gonna have to take note of the amount that's folded underneath and retrace it after I've done the rest. Uh, these are quite easy because they're quite straight. Uh, the leg and the hem and everything else. So I'm just gonna try and flatten them as much as possible, as I said. The waist was elasticated, but the elastic got degraded, so I don't really need to stretch them out. Otherwise you would need to pull the elastic taut while you're checking the measures. So I'm gonna take a pencil and start marking the important parts. So I'm starting at the bottom here. I'm gonna draw a little corner where the pants finish and put something uh, with some weight to keep it in place. And then I'm gonna trace, uh, draw little dots or something along the leg. So it's gonna be easier to trace the line after. And in case you have a little curve, for example, going towards the waist, you're gonna trace that as well and mark where your corner, top corner, where the waist is, is. So in my case, the pants in the back have a dart. I could avoid doing it because as I said, they were stretched out, so they would still have some uh, give and it's an elastic fabric, but I'm tracing the dart, the apex on the, of the dart and measuring how much it is because then I'm going to pivot the dart before doing the other side of the pants. So that way it basically will allow me to recreate the dart sort of exactly the same way. Um, remember that tracing like this is never accurate. You still have to check the pattern after, but it's a quick, easy way to go as close as possible. So here I pivoted the apex of the dart holding it down i pivoted the top and that way i get uh, the amount of the dart that i marked and then i'm gonna trace the front uh, it's a bit difficult to see but basically i'm holding down this where the seam is and feeling with my other hand where it is and tracing that and i'm gonna trace all along the curve of the center of the pants and when it gets to the inside leg I'm just gonna as I said report the difference that's folded underneath that way I'm gonna have the full actual amount of the pant uh, if you want to check the where the crotch is joined you can just hold the side seam that way you don't move the pant but just the part underneath rolls towards you, so it's easier to mark the actual seam. And once that's done, we can remove them. And it's difficult to see because I use a light pencil, but I'm gonna trace the whole back, basically just joining the little bits together. Uh, use whatever tool you prefer, doesn't really matter. I just find myself comfortable with these rectangle, um, what are they called? So yeah, anyway, you can see, for example, there's a little bit of a difference 
towards the front. This could be on purpose, but it's probably due to the tracing. So I'm just gonna mark there and I'm gonna check later when I cut the pattern. When it comes to the center front, as you can see, we have points to join. They're not super perfectly in line, but I'm just gonna join them and try to make them as pretty as possible, let's say. Try to make a pretty line that makes sense. Um, I am used to making patterns, so to me it probably comes a little easier, but you'll see how it's going to look. So this way I sort of corrected a little bit the little curve I had, and now I'm gonna move over to the dart. I also measured the front, uh, the center seam in the pants and uh, I had a little bit extra that I was missing so I put it um, half on the top and half on the bottom. I traced my dart as you can see. I had to move the apex a little bit because I checked by measuring the actual pants the distance between the center seam and the side seam uh, and then I reported the same measure on both sides that way when we close the dart the waist is gonna match because our waist is obviously slightly curved, so it, if we were to keep it there, we would have sort of like a little step. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the front side. This is easier because the front is smaller, so it's not turned underneath. And I'm marking also where the pocket is, both inside and outside meaning the lining of the pocket and the cut of the pocket from the outside. Joining all the points exactly the same way as we did before. You can see the center front. Here's the pocket. I marked all the points, as I said, of the lining and the facing of the pocket. This we'll have to put on a different piece of paper. And I'll show you how I copied it after. But basically we have this closed part, the square in the back, and then we have the part where the pocket is cut, and that's gonna be the inside lining. So I cut all my pieces. You can see in the back, I folded the dart close when I was cutting the waist, and then I added all my seam allowances everywhere, and at the bottom with the with the hem. What's left to do is the pocket. I did, as I said, copied everything on another piece of paper, which is this one. I like to do a pocket in one single piece in this type of pen because it's easier and less bulky. As you can see, we have the part that completes the actual band and then the part that folds that's gonna be the inside lining of the pocket. I haven't done the waistband because it's a rectangle. I'm just gonna cut it when I'm actually making the pants. Then I checked the two sides together to make sure that they match and the inside seam to make sure they're the correct length and the hem matches. And here are my pieces. This was a very simple example, but I hope it was useful in order to understand how to do it. Uh, in case you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I hope you liked the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. It's a great help. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Have a great day.